The Craney Island eastward expansion is being completed by the Army Corps of Engineers and the Virginia Port Authority. The project will extend the life of the Craney Island dredge material management area and also create land for a marine terminal. This video will walk you through an animation of the project's construction process. Craney Island is shown on the left side of the screen. The location of the planned expansion is shown to the right and bound by perimeter dikes. Because the soil directly underneath the expansion site is composed of soft clays, this material will be pre-dredged before constructing the dikes. After pre-dredging, the dikes will be constructed by placing layers of rock and sand. This construction method will ensure the stability of the expansion and subsequent marine terminal. After the dikes are built, the site will be filled with dredge material mined from the existing Craney Island facility, as well as from future dredging operations in the harbor. Ground improvement techniques will then be used to strengthen the newly placed material. At this time, the open pile supported wharf structure will be built. The wharf will be capable of accommodating up to 28 container cranes for cargo loading and unloading operations. With the first phase of the marine terminal complete, the remainder of the eastward expansion will continue to receive dredge material. At this time, the terminal will be operational. The terminal will continue being built in phases in order to meet the port's future cargo needs. An important component of the Craney Island Marine Terminal is the Craney Island Road and Rail Connector. The Road and Rail Connector will cross over the Navy's Fuel Depot, the Coast Guard Station, Craney Island Creek, and APM terminals, then tie into Route 164. Private residences will not be affected. The roadway is shown on the left and the rail connector on the right. The roadway is designed to accommodate future construction of the third crossing. The rail component is designed to tie into the Commonwealth Rail Line and the Heartland Corridor, thus allowing 50% of cargo handled by the Craney Island Marine Terminal to travel by rail. This will greatly reduce the number of trucks on Hampton Roads highways.
For more information, please visit our website at www.cranyisland.info.